Let's bring you this story now. There's an extensive rabies outbreak in the Eastern Cape. From the beginning of January last year to date, around 400 cases have been reported in the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality, 42 cases in Amatole district and 27 cases in Oartambo district. The Chris Honey district reported 23 cases. And for more on this, we're joined by Vusimuzi Rosani, who's from the Department of Rural Development um, and Agrarian Reform. Form. Thank you, agrarian reform, rather. Thank you very much for your time this evening, Vusimusi. Just give us a status update on how bad things are when it comes to the rabies out uh, outbreak and really just how you've been dealing with it uh, so far. Thank you very much. Uh, good, good evening um, uh, to you and the listeners. Um, yes, it has been uh, uh, quite hectic, um, in particular in the course of, la of last year. You know, we for the first time, you know, uh, in the Eastern Cape, we had a huge uh, outbreak, uh, in particular in the uh, in the Sarabatman district, you know, of the of Kabecha, you know, where we had unprecedented, you know, a high number of cases, you know, starting from January to up to date, we have got over 400 cases, you know, that were confirmed to be positive. Now we, um, you, you, uh, uh, the, when we're looking now, uh, you know the, the, the cases they, they kept picking up, especially towards August, as, as, uh, August, September, October. Uh, however, we have seen uh, towards December we have seen a slight decline, you know, in the number of cases that were reported. I hear that also now in January they, they, there are some cases that came up positive as well. We, we, we are working on that. However, the important thing is that what we did, did you know, and what we are continuing to do, whenever there is a reported cases of uh, reported cases, uh, positive cases of rabies, we then mount a, a massive uh, you know awareness and vaccination campaign around the areas. You know, we cover a radius of between 10 and 15 kilometers around the areas where the, around the areas where there are positive cases reported, and we do a massive awareness. You know, uh, talk to the people, engage key stakeholders, uh, and, and therefore, you know, come up with schedules. You know, where we go and, and vaccinate. You know, uh, all pets, dogs, and cats, because that, that those are the important spaces that are, are important in the transmission of the of the of the virus you know, of the virus. So that's what we have been doing, um, you know, that's what we have been doing since the outbreak, this outbreak. And I think, you know, we, in the Western District alone, the Western District is the area, is the Nelson Mandela Bay in, in Kabecha. We have vaccinated, you know, over 58,000 between, you know, January 2021 and to date. And, and we continue vaccinating where they are, they are, they are still positive areas. And therefore, that 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 is the the huge uh, coverage that we have done, you know, uh, in that part of the world, you, you know, in this one. Same applies to the Amatole district, you know. Uh, we are continuing, you know, where there are areas of outbreak, you know, uh, doing the same thing: awareness, uh, uh, vaccination campaigns. And mm. when we're approaching the vaccination campaigns, we we go straight, uh, 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 we, we go uh, street by street and door to door yes. you know vaccinating the animals that's how we've been dealing with it yeah i, I mean what is causing the outbreak i mean there is a current epicenter um that you speak about in your release now what are you doing to contain the spread and what would you say is causing the outbreak and the spread that we are seeing look there there, there are a number of, of there, there could be a, a number of causes you know for that for instance in the nelson mandela bay we realize that uh, the remember that the uh, it is a, it is is legislated that uh, the, the 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 people the, the the dog owners must actually you know on an annual basis they must actually bring their animals you know to to the nearest uh, you know uh, animal health clinic mm. you know where they get uh, you know vaccinated you know for rabies you know it's it's a message that we are passing on do you think now, that's going to be enough? Doing, uh, we are running out of time, and I just want to ventilate this issue as much as we can. Yes. Do you think that the vaccinations yes. and creating that the awareness is enough? Because it's a very dangerous disease, uh, rabies, and what's more important to note here is that it is transmissible to human beings as well. 
that that is correct look ma'am the the, the the vaccinations and awareness those two you know are, are paramount you know in, in the control of the disease if we can get you know a, a huge turnout you know people they can bring their animals we will arrest the disease spread you know definitely you know so that that is the, the the greatest weapon that we have so all that we have to do we must make rabies you know a household name you know everybody must know that rabies kills and if we can get that message across and we can get people you know being aware and, and bring their animals on a daily basis you know because you can walk even though we have got annual vaccinations you know that we conduct each year but also on a daily basis we encourage people to bring their animals and i believe if we can have you know that message across and, and the people can start bringing their animals we will be able to stop the the, this, the the spread between the animals and the humans as well Thank you very much Definitely. for your time, uh, Mr. Vusi Muzi Rosani, who is of the Department of Rural Development and Agrarian Reform, joining us to speak about the rabies outbreak and what the department is doing to deal with it.